Hello and welcome, my name is Lisette and I'm here with the Master Tax Director, Michael Zarella, to discuss the JobKeeper registration process. Thanks Lisette and thanks for tuning in everyone. Um, so the JobKeeper registration and enrolment process is well and truly underway and um, we've had uh, a number of inquiries and uh, difficulties in, in uh, the processes and um, also some additional steps that um, uh, weren't anticipated in the beginning. And so I've put together a presentation that will clarify those steps for you today. Okay, let's just run through the steps. So the first step is to determine uh, the, uh, whether you're eligible. Uh, so the eligible criteria, eligibility criteria, is that you must uh, be in business. Um, experience a 30% decline in turnover in, um, in, in a uh, particular month, um, starting from March. So at this point, you can um, obviously have a look at your March turnover and your April turnover. Um, and obviously May, um, we're halfway through. So you can uh, obviously visit May's turnover at the end of, um, at the, end of the month in case um, you you didn't experience a uh, reduction in in March or April. You have eligible employees, and you continue to pay a minimum of fifteen hundred per eligible employee. So eligible employees include part part time and full time employees, and casual employees uh, that have been employed for twelve months prior to the job job keeper claim in early March. So step two, you must pay um, at least $150, sorry, $1,500 gross to each eligible employee, employee per fortnight. Step three is that you notify your employees that you'll be applying for the scheme, the job JobKeeper scheme. Uh, step four is that you'll you'll need to download nomination forms for your employees, and there's a there's a website, a link to a website. ATO website shown on the screen there, each eligible employee will need to fill out and sign the nomination form and return it for you to maintain on file. Step five, enrolments began a couple of weeks ago, possibly three weeks ago, now almost three weeks ago. So leading up to enrolments, you may have registered for JobKeeper. Um, so you no longer need to register at this point. In fact, the registration process um, is no longer available. That only provided you updates and uh, guidelines on when you'd be eligible, uh, when you when the enrolment process was ready to um, to embark on. So now you can um, simply go straight into enrolling for the JobKeeper payments. I've I've provided a um, a login website there, an ATO website login there. However, I need to elaborate a little bit here because <clears throat> it it's. It's not a simple process. Um, the process involves having a MyGov account and then setting up a business portal, which is quite a um, lengthy and tedious process. Now, <clears throat> there are uh, many of you who have successfully done that. However, there is also many that um, haven't been um, able to um, set up a portal. Um, so they, the ATO have provided tax agents the ability and the provisions to be able to do it through our tax agent portal. There's a number of clients who've approached us for, for the service of, of uh, enrolling for, for JobKeeper for them. And, and we've, we've made a decision to simply provide that service on a cost recovery basis. So uh, cost recovery fee basis, we're happy to provide assistance um, if, if you're unable to go through the um, process of setting up a portal. So once you do have a portal, um, you can access JobKeeper through your portal or uh, your enrolment um, to JobKeeper. Um, and it looks a little bit like what you see on the screen now. It's simply uh, the first stage of it anyway, asks you um, which month uh, you've experienced a reduction in turnover and the uh, options available right now is is March or April, um, and obviously uh, the question of whether it, um, it's fallen by 30% or more, and it all down further it simply asks you um, how many eligible employees um, you'll be claiming the job keeper for um, the first fortnight in April, and how many for the second fortnight in April. 
so pretty straightforward so far. Step six, on the form, you'll be asked to provide bank account details and uh, whether uh, you're claiming the entitlement, the, the JobKeeper entitlement, based on business participation. Now, I'll, I'll um, elaborate a bit more on, on the business participation later, later in the presentation. Step seven, um, specify a number of employees who will be eligible for the first for the, for, the, for the first and second job keeper fortnight, like I mentioned. Um, step eight, make a, uh, a business a monthly declaration to the ATO, either through us or your business portal, like I mentioned. Um, um, we, um, we have access through our tax agent portal or you'll um, make the declaration through your own portal. Um, so the information will include current and projected turnover and, and reconfirmation of eligible employees. Provide your details and indicate if you are claiming the entitlement based on business participation. And I'll elaborate a bit more later in the presentation on that. So the JobKeeper initially, uh, it was thought would only be applicable to employees uh, of, of a business, um, whether um, uh, you're a sole trader, partnership, trust or company. But there are, there are many, many businesses that operate um, solely through a sole trader, partnership, trust, or company, and don't have employees. So um, the JobKeeper is available to um, the business participant. Um, so if you don't have any employees, um, you will be eligible to claim, providing you meet the, um, uh, the downfall in turnover test. Um, so sole traders, pretty straightforward, individual uh, person running a, a business can, can claim for himself. A partnership, trust or company can only nominate one party. So one partner out of a partnership, one beneficiary from a trust or one director of a company uh, can be nominated as a business participant and eligible to claim. And obviously it, is, it still needs to meet, you know, whether um, it you know, needs to meet the, the criteria of, of running a business or carrying on a business. Um, the uh, turnover, turnover test reduction in uh, uh, turnover of 30% or more uh, compared to a corresponding period. Um, so, for example, March or April compared in 2020 compared to March or April 2019. Now, there are some additional tests available for those um, people, who, businesses who, who uh, for example, don't haven't traded the full year. Um, or perhaps don't meet the 30% um, downturn in um, on a monthly basis for the March or, or April. There are some alternative uh, alternative tests that we can um, use that the ATO have um, published um, that we can use to um, determine whether you could uh, still be eligible. Obviously, you need to you need to need, need to have an ABN as of the uh, 12th of March um, and lodged um, either uh, your 2019 income tax return or activity statements sometime from the 1st of July 18 to the 12th of December 2020, showing uh, it had sales. So your business activity statement, um, if you've kept up to date with the lodgement of your business activity statement, you, you'll meet that um, criteria. So also, you know, obviously I mentioned before, um, you know, the partnership trust or company has no employees uh, who, and, and sorry, and, and um, uh, the, the business participant, the owner of the business, is not an active employee within uh, those entities, will be eligible as a, uh, a business participant. So there is a, a, a slightly different process for sole traders and other business participants. Um, uh, businesses without employees will need to provide an ABN of, of their business, nominate an individual, like I mentioned before, provide a tax file number, and also provide a declaration as to recent business activity. Other entities um, is very similar. Um, you know, um, we need to include turnover test, um, complete the eligible business applicant nomination form, uh, very similar, but somewhat different to the employee nomination form, and only one business participant, participant can, can be nominated uh, so, for example, partnership, trust, or a company. So, one partner, one beneficiary, or one director. Um, so, um, the business participant can receive, as as it mentions there, the, 
JobKeeper subsidy as well as the employees of the business. So if you do have employees as well and, and you're not on the books as an employee, you simply um, take drawings, you can apply for the JobKeeper for your employees as well as yourself as a business participant. So there's, there's an, an example uh, of the enrolment form here as a business participant. It, it's slightly different. Um, um, so you know, are you enrolling as a sole trader? And obviously um, it, there is options there to, to mention, uh, to uh, indicate whether it's sole trader partnership or company. You know, selecting yes, uh, just informing the uh, commissioner, you, um, you're nominating uh, for wage subsidy as a sole trader. Some final notes, uh, once you have become eligible for JobKeeper, you'll remain um, on JobKeeper system for the um, period through to September. So for just to elaborate, um, you, you, you only have to um, meet the uh, eligible criteria one month. So those who met the criteria in March or April will, will be eligible to um, gain access to the JobKeeper payments for the whole six month period through to September. Uh, others may not experience a downturn until May or June or July and so on, um, at which point you can enrol and become eligible for the payments from that point on through to September. Um, the expected dates are unclear. We haven't, um, expected that payment dates are unclear, but um, they have started uh, paying, I think, from early to mid last week. We have heard from clients who um, have received their payments um, and there's others who haven't. So obviously um, um, the, the initial in the initial stages of the scheme, they uh, ha obviously have a bit of a backlog to get through. But once um, they um, get, get the process uh, going, I think it will um, uh, start to come through um, quite timely. But at this stage, uh, as I said, people who have been eligible from the very beginning, 30th of March, still haven't received their payments and there's others that have, but um, um, they assure us uh, they will process process them all in due course. Um, like, I, like I mentioned, the next point, you'll remain eligible through to September, regardless of whether, um, you know, your turnover uh, goes back to normal. So if you've experienced a, a downturn for one month, and then the following month it goes back to normal, you'll still continue to be eligible to stay on the system and receive payments through to September. The payments must, um, um, you must pay a minimum of 1500 per fortnight um, is, is a prerequisite and it must be paid to all eligible employees. So um, if you have employees on um, part-time uh, or casual that don't earn 1500 a fortnight, um, you must pay them 1500 a fortnight and perhaps increase um, their working hours to, to meet that if, if you wish. So I think I've covered what I wanted to um, as, a, as a, um, an update and clarification on um, um, the JobKeeper now that we're two or three weeks in uh, from when it commenced. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, um, please feel free to give us a call uh, and happy to assist the enrolment process and also there is the the ongoing monthly um, reporting with um, turnover that's required through to September so um, as I mentioned it requires you to set up a business portal which is um, quite a, um, a lengthy and onerous task we are able to do that um, and as I said uh, on a cost recovery fee basis only. So thanks everyone I uh, hope you got um, something out of that presentation um, as always, we're here to help. Uh, we, we also have offered to um, um, provide the, the service of registering and enrolling for clients uh, on a purely a cost recovery fee basis. Great, thank you, Michael. So if anyone would like some help with their um, registration process, you can give Michael and the Master Tax team a call on 8172 9150, or you can contact us at info at mastertax.on.net. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Lisette.